Welcome back to Saint of the Day. Um, today is July 29th, and today's saint is Saint Martha. Um, quote, Jesus loves Martha and Mary and Lazarus. The, end quote. The, this unique statement is John's Gospel tells us of the special relationship Jesus had with Martha, his sister, and his brother. Apparently, Jesus was a frequent guest at Martha's house in Bethlehem, a small village two miles from Jerusalem. We read of three verses in Luke, 10, chapter 10, 38 through 42, John 11, 1 through 56, and John 12, 1 through 9. Mary, m many of us find it easy to identify with Martha in the story Luke tells. Martha welcomes Jesus and his disciples into her home and immediately goes to work to serve them. Hospitality in the Middle East and was paramount in the Middle East and Martha believed in its importance. Imagine her fr Francisine when frustrated when her sister Mary ignores the rule of hospitality and Martha works in order to set and listen to Jesus. Instead of speaking to her sister, she asks Jesus to intervene. Jesus' respond, response is not unkind, which gives us an idea of his affection for her. He observes that Martha is worried about things that many things that distract her from really being present to him. He reminds her that there is only one thing that is true importance, listening to him, and that is what Mary has done. In Martha, what we see ourselves, worried and distracted by all we have to do in the world and forgetting to spread Spend the time with Jesus. It is, however, comf comfortable to note that Jesus loves her just the same. The next visit shows how well Martha learned this lesson. She is grieved the death of her brother with a house full of mourners when she hears that Jesus has come, just come in, come to the area. She gets up immediately and leaves the guests leaving her mourners and goes to meet him. Her conversation with Jesus shows her faith and courage. It is di di dialogue she states clearly. In this dialogue, she states clearly, without doubt, that she believes in Jesus' power, in the resurrection, and most of all, that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus tells her that he is the resurrection and the life and then goes to on to raise her brother from the dead other our final picture of martha in scripture is one that sums up who she was jesus has returned to bethlehem bethlehem some time later to share a meal with his good friends in this home were three extraordinary people. We hear how Brother Lysus causes a store when was brought back to life. We hear how Mary causes a commotion at dinner by announcing Jesus with experience expensive perfume. Uh, anointing Jesus with expensive perfume. But all we hear about Martha is the simple statement Martha sold. She isn't in the spotlight. She doesn't sh do sh slowly things. She doesn't receive sp spectral miracles. She simply serves Jesus. We know nothing more about Martha and what happened to her later. According to total untruthworthy legend, Martha accompanied Mary to France after Pentecost, but with what? But would it be it be wonderful if the most important thing that we could say about uh, 
say about us is they solved. Martha is the patriot saint of solvers and cooks, housewives and house mothers. In her footsteps, um, Dorothy Day said, quote, if anyone who holy and handsome, it would be easy to see Christ in everything, but it was not Christ's way for, for himself. Ask honestly what you would do when a bigger, a bigger asked at your house for food. Would you give it on an old cracked plate, thinking that was good enough? Do you think that Martha and Mary thought that the old and cr cracked dish was good enough for their guests? It is not a duty to help Christ. It is a privilege. In what ways do we serve Christ? Others gatified or spe speculate. How can you serve them the way Martha served Christ, putting her whole self into it? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Saint Martha, pray for us that we might serve Jesus better. Help us to overcome our distractions and worries, to listen to his word, and to be present to him in this day. Help us to overcome our struggles as housewives, house mothers, servants, that we may set aside time to be with you, be with Jesus every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.